is up and running. Welcome back if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching the stream. Well, thanks for sticking around for set number two of the stream today. We've got one of the new diorama sets uh, from Lego Star Wars. I never built any of the other ones. Kind of been still waiting. I mean, like, I almost bought the Dagobah one. There was, like, a really deep discount on Best Buy a while ago. These sets are just, like, the price for what they are is seems so high to me. Um, but we got this one during the Star Wars Day uh, stuff on Lego, so that definitely softened the blow getting the gifts with purchases and all that stuff like that. Um, and I think this one looks a lot nicer than the other ones too, so I'm gonna try to open this without breaking the uh, perforated holes here though, because this is the sort of set where even if I really like, end up loving this set and love the look of it, like sometimes the Star Wars stuff just gets so expensive to the point where it's like I could see some of these in a few years hitting a price point where it would be basically impossible to justify keeping them. Um, so we try. I try to hang on to the try to hang on to the boxes for most of this Star Wars stuff, if possible. Right, there we go. Oops. All right, cool. Got some big piping out of the tube first off, so let's see here. We got bag number one, bag number five, bag number four, bag number three. Bag number two, and additional baggies for step one and two. So five bagged steps. Oops, we got another two in here too. Get that out. Okay. So we kept our box in nice condition here, so we can set that aside. Got a space in my basement that's got all that stuff all right and we'll see I've got just about an hour uh, left here um, before I've got to get going I'm going over to my parents house to uh, help them out with some stuff um, moving furniture around and things like that so I do have kind of a hard out but we'll just see how far we get here. I mean, like, I can't really imagine that we get through this whole thing in an hour, but who knows? I really don't know what to expect from these diorama sets, like I said. I mean, I, I, I like the look of them. They all look, you know, it's like if someone just handed me any of them, I'd be pretty enthusiastic about it. Um, they just they strike me as a little expensive overall. But now we'll get some first-hand experience with one of them, and we'll see what we think. So yeah, this set is part of the 40th anniversary of uh, Return of the Jedi. Pretty cool. So yeah, some background information in the booklet as ever. Um, we're not going to just read through all of that on camera because that sounds ridiculous to me. I'm sure there are streams where people just read to you, but this does not need to be one of them. up here, get our trays, out. okay, all right, so we 
can get into it now. Let's see here. Sure to let us know that we've got a couple of different sizes here. We're going to need the longer of the two of these bricks with Technic pin holes. All right, so no must, no fuss. We're getting right into building the base of this thing, so we'll get a good idea of the size uh, right from the jump here. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see, we got some Technic action to contend with here. Let's see, we need a seven long pin, T pin, little spacer, here. Okay, and that's going to sit at the back of the base here. So this is probably going to be part of building the, you know, the circle of the window. Something like that. visible from the outside so we gotta inset them by one here cover them up with a little black two by one I'm just floating this build around my desk here. Okay. Oops. Not an infinite amount, though. Okay. So some stud not on top pieces. With a little venting. on the side. All right. So flush with this, then skip a couple of studs. And then these are all going to be lined up with each other, it looks like. Kitty. Gosh, what a good jumping boy. Hey, buddy, that plastic, it's not for you. I know you like plastic. This guy's been known to fish a uh, Ben and Jerry's uh, seal protector out of the trash can in his day. No, no, no. You want to sit on my lap, boy? You can't go on the desk right now. 
Okay, you can sit on the lap though. That's nice. That's a good kitty. So we're probably going to end up with a little cat hair stuck in this model, but it's okay. Can't say no to my good, good kitty. All right. He'll probably get bored and jump down if I don't continuously pat him. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Let's see here, we got these little L brackets, going like so, and some 3 by ones leading off a dose, ah! shattered, yep, I was right, there's a lot of cat here now. Oh, pardon me. Alright. Let's see here, we got... A little separate structure here. Bringing a lot of studs up to the side here. in here. This is going to add a good amount of stability to our build here. It's pretty nice. Oh, these guys were supposed to have uh, these attached, but without anything to indicate the direction. I mean, I guess they'd it must be on the back because they'd be visible on the front in the instructions. I'm gonna go with that. Say that that makes sense to me. Usually they do a better job of giving indication of where stuff like that is oriented though. I think it, it must be the case given the, you know, what, what I mentioned. It, it, it just would be vis, vis, visible in the uh, instructions from the front there. They, they do take care to include stuff like that, so. Okay, a little spacer blocks here. And then uh, more of these vents. The Death Star does have a tremendous amount of uh, venting on it. Yeah, this was a pretty cool uh, set to end up uh, ordering to qualify for the Death Star 2 gift with purchase because of course it's, you know, the scene is taking place on the second Death Star. So might end up, uh, you know, those two sets displayed right next to each other could end up looking pretty cool. by four blocks. So I'm gonna, oops, I missed a step. I missed a whole page. All right, let's back it up. These two by four blocks can uh, wait a little longer to make their debut here. Some two to one stud converters. 
some of these nice Fort Legorado textures. Saw a Reddit thread the other day where people are discussing like what stuff uh, they'd like to see get updated in the style of, uh, you know, the Galaxy Explorer and the uh, Lion Knight Castle and Fort Legorado was a, a hot uh, target for discussion there, um, which I very much agree with. I think that those, uh, the Wild West sets, um, were so cool back in the day, and it'd be really awesome to see them get updated. I definitely miss these at some point too, but get these on here. Um, but yeah, to see, uh, to see that set get updated with modern, uh, build techniques, you know, I, I just hope that it wouldn't end up being another $400 set, like, I would love to get the Lion's Knight Castle someday, but I'm just, like, so far away from that being a reasonable <laughs> purchase. Though it would probably give me a lot of weeks of content, but nonetheless, cannot afford it right now. Okay, how does this go? Okay, these go on the Legorado bricks. Oops. Oh. Launch that into space. Alright, I found it. Okay. Right here. Hanging out in space. Very peculiar. This leaves this gap here. Airwolf, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. We're on the first bag of the uh, throne room diorama right now. Just dropping pieces on the floor, you know, just regular, just regular stuff. Hope you've been having a nice couple of weeks. We missed you last week. I've had a great last couple of weeks. Work has been a little hectic, but everything outside of work has been terrific. So I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade all day. You had any uh, any updates from the uh, interviews and everything like that? <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, I saw I saw your uh, 3D printing stuff uh, coming in. Looks pretty looks pretty sick. Getting all set up for that. Do you have everything now that you need to need to get started there? Got to be getting pretty close. Should be one. Yeah, okay. The printer itself. Well, yeah, that is a pretty uh, that's a pretty important uh, piece of the puzzle for sure. But that's cool. Once you get it, you'll be all set up and ready to go. So that's nice. That's definitely nice. And do you have the one you are going to get all picked out and everything? I assume so, because I assume some of that peripheral stuff is only good with... 
certain models and things like that. But yeah, that's very exciting. That is very exciting. Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see what you did get uh, done. Yeah. built up a little bit here. Let me see here. Some little pylons here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, that's unfortunate. So you just didn't get to do the the second interview at all then? That sucks. That's a bummer. Did they uh are you going to reschedule or are they just uh are they just uh moving on. I mean, I'd be a little hesitant to uh, follow through if they can't even if they can't even get their interviews scheduled properly, then it's Yeah, yeah, that's ex exactly what I was kind of thinking is yeah, if they're so disorganized that they can't even get your interview interviews scheduled properly. I mean, it's still good to interview, you never, you know, you never know. I mean, like if they offer you a much higher salary you might be able to you know do something with that negotiate with your current job for a raise or something so still still not bad to meet with them but that's not a great sign that is not a great sign I will grant you that Oh, I see. This goes on here. Stabilizing these guys. Well, you win some, you lose some. I'm sure you'll. I'm sure you'll find somewhere else. You you get to set up some interviews soon, or something like that. confident that you'll find somewhere that's going to be a great fit for you. Definitely can Yeah, that being a salesman is being a salesman is uh definitely challenging in in its way. It's a it's a different skill set for sure. I hate de dealing with salesmen personally. They're so I, all salesmen in America, at least, are so pushy. They're like, no, you gotta get this. You gotta order this thing. And I'm just like, no, I super don't. It's very off-putting to me. Flip this around. So and yeah, if that if that's a job requirement, then it's kind of an oversight on their part to even you know, I'm sure you, you gave them your resume like they should have known, you know they should know from looking what you what your background is. One of my buddies that works at a 
brewery here in Des Moines switched over to being a sales rep with, with his company. And I liked having him as a rep because it was, he was the rep assigned to us for, uh, for the pizza shop, but he ended up not, not liking the, uh, having to do the sales stuff. So he ended up switching back to his old job. I definitely understand you gotta you gotta at least somewhat like the job you're doing yeah she just didn't look at the, yeah well that's that's sucky <laughs> uh, you know it's definitely their the interviewers responsibility to do that basic research you know um, so look at these nice printed plates no stickers no stickers here that's pretty nice. Well, yeah, that's not a great, that's not a great, uh, first step there. Am I supposed to have built, built old Lukey here already? I didn't see it in the instructions, but sure. Hmm. Hmm. I don't got no light. Oh no, there it is. Like there's no lightsaber beam on my guy here. There we go. A little more detailed than some of the Luke figures uh, from sets I had when I was younger. Let me see. Oh golly, I still got to. Uh, my extra pieces from the uh, Great Wave set here still on site. A little insight to how I store my extra pieces here. This is three, one, two, zero, eight. The great wave. I store all of my uh, extra pieces um, store all of my extra pieces in case uh, I want to resell these sets at some point. have this cup on my desk that I drop them into while I do the builds and then I usually put them away later. I think I dropped one of the sailors onto the floor, but I looked for it a little bit. I even I even unplugged a bunch of stuff from my computer so that I could move more stuff around and I still couldn't find it so I might have bounced behind one of my bookcases or something like that but that one at least if it turns up I'll know I'll know what which set it goes to because I do have random other pieces pop up periodically that I'm like I don't, I don't remember all right Now we're ready for bag number two here. Let's see, got just about half an hour left, and bag one took us about half an hour, so yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Oh, I just uh, I went to drop my uh, extra pieces, and I noticed all my my extra pieces from uh, the last set were still in the cup, so I didn't want to get them mixed up. So now we're. Uh, Getting into bag number two here. This will be the last last bag we get to today, unfortunately. Gotta go uh, help my parents um, 
moved some furniture. They're getting their carpets redone. And uh, they've got some stuff that they can't get by themselves. So my brother and I are going to go over there and give them a hand with some stuff. But we got, oops, we got bag number two on deck before we do that. And then should be back at it next week. Regular time here. Alright, so this time we've got explicit instructions to get our minifigure built up here. So this is a really nice uh, Vader minifigure. We've got printing on the uh, sleeves here, front and back, back print, uh, print on the legs very very detailed um let's see we're gonna have our cape in here Ooh, we got an extra cape i don't know if that's standard but i'll take it definitely got some older minifigures that are missing capes and and such so not mad about it. In this case, this cape has a real nice uh, felt uh, feel to it, too. We got the bottom uh, guard of the helmet is separate here because we're able to uh, we're able to reenact the scene at the end of Jedi where the helmet is removed uh, yeah he's all goopy it's pretty cool I don't know I can't remember if this is used on the other recent Vader figures but definitely a definitely a cool one here lightsaber here lightsabers are cool Star Wars gets ragged on a lot for the new movies, but I just I just don't care. I just I just still think Star Wars is so cool. I know a lot of my friends are kind of burnt out on Star Wars where it's like, you know, their their love for it as a child has only sustained them so far and it's gotten to the point to for some of them where it's just like, I just don't I just don't care anymore, but I very much still enjoy I'm not like a super completionist watching every show and things like that, but I still get excited when a new movie comes out and things like that. I just, I just like it. I just like it. Space Wizards, it's, it's cool to me. Doesn't matter that it's a, just a Flash Gordon ripoff. see here starting to build out the shape of the deck a little bit here okay Got these little spanners here these will probably have something else grab onto them at some point or something like that stuff here start to build out the uh, window a little bit I suspect Let's see Got the 
red T pin connecting these guys. with a T-pin slot. So yeah, we start to build up that shape a little bit to layers a bit. built up here already, looks like. side for a second here. We got a little smaller portion to build here. Separate structure. out here. Okay, that's going to flatten out even further. studs on the front. detailing here. Oh, this isn't even this isn't even gonna be on the front of the set here. This is about to go on the back side. Uh, sit right here. Okay. Cool. And then we'll probably push something through here at some point to solidify it even more. So uh, we're going to actually change up 
the vibe here a little bit on the music to get yeah this is more combative of a scene than our last build get it a little get it a little angrier I don't find this to be particularly angry, but we'll see where the station takes us. Crap. Pretty much mirrored to the other side here. Same ordering on the pins here. Check step by step. I assume this is all going to be, uh, you know, uh, symmetrical. But never, never hurts to, uh, never hurts to double check on such things. Legos definitely throws uh, curve balls at you from time to time. But these spacey uh, sets do tend to be high on the on the symmetry train just because you know spaceships symmetry design makes sense. okay So there we go. And then, yep, just as I suspected, pins slot in to help brace everything and make everything that much more secure. Really nice. Let's see here. up a little more Let's see here a couple of these guys oh yeah nice that's cool is your uh, is your printer uh, in the mail or are you gonna have time to get started with some of that stuff uh, while you're while you're on break that would be pretty sweet But if not, I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll find something cool to occupy your time in any case. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I haven't haven't ordered it yet. I mean, that makes sense. You said you dropped a pretty considerable amount of money, so spacing it out a little bit never never hurts. But that's cool. Do you have any, you have any big plans for the week, or are you just gonna chill out? Some 
pipes here. Yeah. Not not too familiar with that. I don't uh, don't keep too close track of uh, religious holidays. Usually. But that's cool. It's nice that you get work off for it. We're going to get a half day at my job here soon for uh, Father's Day, which I usually work in the morning anyway, so it doesn't really change my schedule until four days. But I'm glad we're going to be able to get our staff off for, for Father's Day, kick it with their dads a little bit or you know whatever they decide to end up doing. Those of them that aren't close with their fathers. Oops. Okay. up here Let's see a couple of this thing two over on these pillars and then here we go Here, I love the way these like stair steps are in this part of the Death Star. Such a cool design. Okay. There we go. section of the deck here. Let's see. Oh, I bet this is going to be for the chair to rotate on here. set look really smooth here. Floors aren't uh, littered with uh, studs as they typically would be. Right here, yep. 
Aqui, ó. Yeah, I actually have a half uh, half day at work uh, tomorrow because my band is gonna drive a couple hours to uh, Omaha to play a concert. Which is pretty cool. Our second second show in one week, actually. I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, so these plates have a little stud in the center, so I bet this is going to be for, like, placing minifigures on. It's, it's not going to be a lot. It's, like, mostly all uh, tile here, which uh, is going to give this set a pretty cool look, I think. So score one point for the... Uh, diorama here. Oh, I missed a I missed a part here, but I see where it goes. It goes right here. Alright, get this on here. And then we'll be here. As my brother's going to be getting here soon to pick me up. But get our get our minifigures on here. Probably won't live here. That'll make it hard to build around them, but yeah, get them into a nice, uh, nice battle pose there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, not not terribly big, I gotta say. You know, for a hundred dollar MSRP set, it is not not too huge. But it does have a nice look to it. Um, probably going to end up. I mean, we'll we'll reserve judgment till next week. But it's probably going to be about what I suspected, which is if you can get them on a good sale, then they're pretty sweet. But you know, um, let me just check my calendar here. Uh, yeah, nothing on uh, for next Wednesday, so we should be good um, for our normal time. Um, pretty uh, pretty uh, excited to get back to this set, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what else. I've got a few other little sets and stuff, too. Probably have time to get into one of those or something like that. And then other than that, i gotta get I got to get something else uh, here. Uh, soon because we're we're definitely running low on on back supply there but uh yeah thank you uh thank you for stopping by the stream thank you for watching on youtube if you're watching on youtube we appreciate your time and uh yeah i hope everyone has a great rest rest of your week uh nice to see you airwolf and uh yeah we'll uh we'll be back next time to to do some more here then have a good one. bye